Hey everyone, it's Ethan here with Brick House Vintage once again, and today we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step on how to make your own rustic style sign out of rough cut wood. And we're going to be showing you two different methods of doing that, so you're going to want to stick around. Let's get going. So the first thing we're going to do is measure out what size pieces you need. This is a 10 inch board that I'm using today. Heather already measured out some things that we're going to be putting on. I need a 16 inch and a 22 inch board. So the first thing we're going to do is cut those pieces out. Um, so you'll see today I'm using a piece of walnut. Uh, there's a few reasons why I like walnut. One of them is when you sand it down a little bit uh, and stick your vinyl on for a stencil. It sticks really well. It limits how much bleed through uh, in the cracks that you get when you paint it. And when you paint over it with a, let's say white paint and you distress it down to give it a rustic look, it's already dark. So, you know, it, it just looks really nice when you, uh, when you distress it down and you have that dark showing through. You can also use a uh, pine or a lighter wood. You can use any wood you want. But if you really want it to shine through a lighter color paint, you'll want something that's dark. So you might want to think about staining uh, the lighter boards if you're using those. So I'm going to take this over. I'm going to cut it down into the 16 inch and the 22 inch pieces that I need. So now that we got our boards cut down into the 10 by 16 inch and the 10 by 22 inch, um, we're going to sand them down. We're just going to take some of the splinters and things like that off. We don't want to take too much character away because we want that character for when we distress it later. And this is a rustic sign, so we want to make sure it keeps that rustic charm to it. Um, so we're going to take a sander and just take some of this off. I'm using 150 grit sandpaper, so let's go. And there we go. Uh, you don't have to over sand it. Make sure you don't over sand it if you want it more rustic. Uh, I don't know if you can see very clearly there, but we kept a lot of the, uh, the saw marks in there. Make sure you keep a lot of the character. I'm keeping this side out so we have that kind of live edge on the edge there. And uh, I think we should be good to go. We got rid of a lot of the splinters. We kind of took off the sharp corners um, and we should be good to stick our vinyl. So we're gonna go cut our vinyl and we're gonna put the stencils on here and then we'll spray them. Alright everyone, so as you can see we have our vinyl cut out, our stencil. We're going to be doing this as a kind of reverse style sign. We're going to be putting the stencil down and painting around and then when we pull it off it's going to have the nice wood sh showing through. So in case you were wondering, this is the type of vinyl that we use for our stencils. Um, it's literally the cheapest kind that you can get at Walmart and it works the best. 
Um, so if you're using vinyl for stencils like this and you're looking for something cheap that you're just going to throw away afterwards, I would definitely check at your Walmart um, see if they have this. I think it's like around $2 a roll at our local Walmart. It's the Duck brand. Literally the cheapest, but the best. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick our stencil on the board. You can measure it out if you want. Sometimes it just, uh, you can get it close enough just by eyeballing it. All right, so we're gonna head over and paint this. We're using Krylon, the satin ivory today. The ivory gives it a nice kind of aged white and the satin uh, finish is definitely kind of our favorite go-to because it doesn't get too glossy, but it's not a heavy matte finish either. So it's kind of a nice in between and works real well. Okay, so now we got it painted. Uh, we're ready to pull the stencil off. We'll just let it dry a few minutes, you know, make sure it's not too wet. And pull it off to expose the nice foot underneath. Just pick our letters. And there we go. After it's fully dried, we're probably gonna go back over with a clear coat over this, and I'll show you guys that later. It'll really richen up and darken up the wood and add a nice protective coating over it. So we'll show you that in a little bit. And next we're gonna move on to our painted sign. So this is the other sign that we cut. I just put one coat of Fusions Raw Silk paint over it. It's a little bit streaky, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to give it a nice heavy sanding. We're going to distress it down. You're going to see some of that nice dark walnut shining through. Um, we're just going to clean it up a little bit before we uh, put our stencil on there. So we're going to sand it down now. Okay, and there we go. Got a nice uh, distressing on it there. I like the way it looks. You just kind of let the sander do its, its own thing. Uh, get some of the character. There we go. Now we're ready to put our vinyl on. Put our vinyl stencil on.
just gonna eyeball it and get it pretty even to where we want it. About right there. Or a transfer table. We're going to use some of the cutoff vinyl from past projects and past pieces. Uh, we're just going to put them around the edges, wrap it around just to make sure we don't get any paint over spray on the sides. So we're just going to take it. I'm just going to go around the whole thing like that. Okay. And there we go. We're ready to take it over and paint. We're going to be using Krylon Black in satin. Satin like we did the other one. It's a really nice finish. Um, and we're just going to put some nice even coats over this. Be sure that you go slow. Uh, take a little bit of time in between each coat just to make sure you're not bleeding because if you put it on too heavy it'll bleed into the cracks and the, the cuts. So we're going to take that over and we're going to paint it now. And while we're over here, we're going to put a coat of clear coat over top of our other side. We're going to use the Rust-Oleum Semi-Gloss. Gives it a nice finish, not too glossy. Okay, and now we're ready to remove our vinyl. And there you have it. Uh, I should mention that you want to be very careful about how long you wait until, until you take the vinyl off because if you wait too long and the paint fully dries, uh, you risk pulling up some of the, the paint around the edges and it'll get kind of splintery looking. So you want to make sure it's it's dry but not too dry. You want to kind of hit that, that nice spot in between there. So we're done with that one. And this is our other one with the clear coat on. You can see how it kind of richened up the wood a little bit, really darkened it. Just added a nice protective layer on it. So we're going to go and we're going to put some backers on these and then we'll be done. Okay, so now we're going to put the backers on. I like using these D-rings for a lot of things, especially stuff that's a little bit heavier. Um, they're rated for a lot more weight. It'll hold a lot better. Um, for these, they're, they're pretty light, but I still like using them for pretty much all of our signs. So, I'll get these out. Thank you. 
All right, and there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with our other sign, and then we'll be done. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video with us. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. See you next time.